Tecate is a small border crossing just outside of San Diego, providing a quick and painless way to get into Mexico. The drive is so much better than crossing at San Isidro as it takes you through some nice mountainous terrain between San Diego and Tecate on the U.S. side, and then into Valle de Guadalupe wine country on the Mexican side, skipping Tijuana and Rosarito traffic altogether. It will add approximately 45 minutes to your drive to Ensenada, which is worth it. Everyone is required to obtain the FMM tourist visa when entering Mexico. The TIP, or Temporary Import Permit, is not required for any of Baja, but if you plan on taking the ferry over to mainland Mexico, you will need to get the tip here at the border. The FMM is free for seven days or less. Otherwise, you will pay a non-refundable fee of approximately 30 USD. Make a screenshot or download the receipt from Banjarcito, the bank, if you buy your FMM online ahead of time. This is very important and my wife and I learned this the hard way as she had one copy of her receipt prompting me to buy another one all over again. Unless you like making donations to Mexico's government, don't be like me. Anyways, the tip requires a deposit of approximately 400 USD, which you get back when you leave Mexico as long as you cancel your tip when leaving. The FMM and tip are good for up to six months. RVs may be eligible for up to 10 years in duration. Make sure to ask for the full six months as they occasionally give you less time for no apparent reason. On the U.S. side of the border, one or two blocks prior to reaching the entrance, you will see a place selling insurance for your vehicle. Insurance is mandatory in Mexico, and you are probably not covered with your home country's policy. We decided to use Mopfrey for our motorcycle. They had a reasonable rate, and they email you all the proper policy paperwork ahead of time. Upon driving into Mexico, no one stopped us or asked a single question. Be nonchalant and they probably won't bother with a random inspection. We drove through and had to make the block by necessity of one-way streets. We headed south first, then west, then north to park under a carport type of structure. There was also a guard to watch the bike with all our stuff loaded on it. I don't know if he's always there. I think so. This is the other one office where you'll be doing most of your paperwork at, and this is the bank where you will be going back and forth from. Don't try to walk back through the metal gate at the southwest corner or they may scream at you. Follow the yellow crosswalk to the pedestrian entrance where the tree is with the turnstile. Walk past all the buildings at the east side and use the crosswalk and head to the other one office. Here you will fill out the paperwork for the FMM. They will then send you to the Banjarcito, the bank, to pay. After paying, they will send you back to Aduana to get the actual FMM finalized and then do the process for the tip. Back to Banjarcito to pay for that and then back to Aduana to finalize that paperwork. You can try to have them do everything all together, but they usually will not do the tip paperwork until you have the FMM complete, thus the back and forth. Once complete, you then exit via the pedestrian walkway, which has an x-ray booth for any bags you carried in to the turnstile dropping you back into Mexico and hopefully finding your vehicle still safe and sound in the same place. When returning to the U.S., you will need to cancel your tip to get your deposit back, and more importantly, prove you did not leave the bike or your vehicle behind. Good luck and buen viaje.